Hello. Today we will max out performance of MSI GF63 laptop. First of all look at this CPU frequency, which is low due to power throttling and thermal throttling. Manufacturing companies set limits on power to increase its lifespan but it will cost you performance. From the Intel website it is fact that i5-9300H has 45 watts DDP, but MSI has reduced it to 25 watts for cooler temp. They did it because they didn't want to design powerful cooling design for this laptop. But today we will push all the limits and unlock maximum TDP. First we will install MSI custom BIOS firmware to unlock full TDP. Then we'll use throttle stop to max out the performance. Download the firmware from link in description. Now, open the file shown in screen and run as administrator. Type Y and CMD and hit enter. Your laptop will restart. After the restart, restart it again and go to BIOS by pressing delete key rapidly. Open secret BIOS menu by pressing keys shown on screen. Follow my steps on the screen. Let me explain this, here, disabling C stats will not let your CPU to lower its frequency in gigahertz. FCLK frequency increase communication speed between different components. Increasing thermal trip points to higher will let your CPU run full power at high temps without dropping frequency, but I suggest you to use a heavy fan below your laptop to cool it down, because temps will raise like monster. I use a blower to cool my CPU. After completing all the steps restart the laptop. Now, open the throttle stop, go to TPL menu, set the long and short power limits to 50 watts. Click OK. Now, we will test the CPU by clicking TS Bench. Look at the package power, more than 45 watts. Wow but temperature is getting too hot. Look at that 95 degree centigrade. So I advise you to get a very powerful cooler under your laptop. Not that slow cooling pads, they are useless. One more thing, if any software that you're running requires more power than 45 to 50 watts then, your frequency will start to drop, which is called computation load. High definition rendering in 3D software or playing AAA games are examples of it. In the end, I just want to say keep temperatures cool. Learn to trick BIOS and learn to actually use throttle stop and similar applications is the way of milking more out of your budget gaming laptops. Thank you very much. But but wait wait wait. I would like to show you consequences of extreme temperatures for long periods of time. I burned a capacitor in my motherboard due to constantly playing games on almost 100 degrees centigrade. Look at this, I had to get in repair die shop and it costed me a lot of money. So doing all this stuff is only for your curiosity. Stay away if you don't want to get into this trouble. See ya.